Please, whatever you do, no speaking of pidgin English. Okay, Yoka, I'm really sorry. I mean, I'm apology. What about the interns? They're waiting for you in the conference room. I hope they did a good job with the merger document. They put in an effort. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Today is going to be really hot and when I get in there, they are all going to feel my rot. There is a malapropism here on the document card. What is wrong with you? Emma. You look educated enough for the job, except you're some sort of undercover illiterate. You will take over the Haruna Holdings contract fully. Is this supposed to be like what the Champions League and I'm stoked This is clearly out of your league. Get it? I don't think eloquence should be rated over characters. Keep thinking the way you think while picking up trash. I will keep thinking the way I think while making more important decisions. Do you believe in superstition, Mr. Johnson? Where I come from, it's a taboo. If three people snap their fingers at you in one day, and so a befitting curse will follow you just like that. Ah! <laughs> I'm Raz! I'm Raz! Trying to speak good English, but nonsense is coming of my mouth. Did you hit your head? I sleep no man, I sleep. As I wake up, I've done the mumu. He gets one powerful man of God. Yes, he carry power. This thing with the dream in a pure jazz. Now Juju. Ah, my customer. Eh? My God! My stick is back. It has returned it! No! I am an Abel, bro. What self-respecting Abel talks like this? Going around using words whose meaning I don't even know. Just imagine, you know, say it all, say that brother say three people be like this. Something go happen. How many people they here? Three. How many of us may be like this? Huh? I just see where they go. Oh yeah! Ah. Hit me! Let me come! What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Movie Mania on Browns TV and my name is Tess Brown. And you know what we do on Movie Mania? We do everything and anything we are talking about. My movie opinion about particular movies and movies you should participate in cinema. Movies that are new on Netflix or movies that you should watch. Including web series that you should be enjoying. of the movie then you should know the movie I'm talking about and the movie I'm talking about today is The Rust Guy. The Rust, the Rust Guy is one of the movies that made it to the big screen that is the cinemas across Nigeria. The movie is a drama comedy movie that lasted one hour 39 minutes. It was released to the cinemas across Nigeria on March 19, 2021. It was directed by Udoka Uyeka. And it featured amazing actors such as Nipimeti Doyle, Frank Donga, Tinamba, Nancy Simi, Lassisi Eleno, Ibrahim Suleiman, Brother Shaggy, Omotide Adebo Wale, uh, also known as Lolo from Jennifer's Diary, and some others that I'm not so familiar with. But they all did a great job. The movie is majorly about a guy, um, Lassisi Eleno, who speaks well and looks down people who cannot speak well or speak properly or make um, common grammatical errors and he, he finds so much pride in this thing and one day an office cleaner just you know um casted a spell on him and he could not speak fluently anymore it almost felt like the end of the world for him. He went from one herbalist to one pastor and all that just to, you know, get his speech back. And he just, it was just one hell of a ride till he turned a new leaf and accepted the fact that people, there is nothing wrong with not being able to speak well. There is nothing wrong with those who can who have little grammatical errors. There's nothing wrong with people who are um, below you, maybe in class or in at the at your workplace or 
in any you know any way you find yourself what do i like about the movie i like the storyline it's cool it is not it is not irregular it's not like oh something special we've seen switch we've seen um different stories that talked about people switching like something happening you being another person so I, I i i find it normal but the storyline was cool also i like the the lesson that it passed on that um you cannot you cannot you know try to put so much on people you cannot put put your you cannot you don't expect people to act exactly like you you should give them their own benefit of doubt you should give them the ability to you know understand their own weaknesses and accept them and it shouldn't be like a a fault that they can't live with what i do not like about the movie is a little bit much more than what i like about the movie uh the casting is too cliche like for example um last year Lennon's sister in this movie who happens to be lolo i uh, brought in this um character from jennifer's time and there is no way they were linking they were not linking the characters in any way. You are bringing an attitude of Jennifer's diary to the Raz guy just because, maybe because of the title, whereas they are trying to like portray it in another character too. But I find that quite interesting because in Jennifer's diary, her name is Adako. She's Igbo and she kept up with it. Her accent, everything was consistent. But in this movie, Lolo's character was not consistent. Brought in um, uh, a character from Jennifer's diary without thinking the name, without making a link in any way. No matter how small they could have, you know, tried to attach it to, to the other story, but it wasn't. They were like two separate movies, but the same character. It wasn't making sense. Um, and then she kept a Yoga person I kept up with. The ego ascent a lot, and I think that's also as a result of the fact that um, they dragged the character from Jennifer's diary. Um, some scenes are unnecessarily lengthy and overly dramatic, uh, like the scene where the thing just happened and he went home trying to figure out how it happened with his sister and his other brother, brother Shaggy, and they were just you know confusing the whole situation even when he figured out by himself oh you oh, must have been this cleaner who you know cast a spell on me because he did this and everything changed that scene was just too long and unnecessary like it bored me at the point another thing is <laughs> the typical non wood and fake pastors and slightly acting that part he acted the professor, he acted the pastors, the old funny pastor thing. We are used to it already, so that one. I don't know what's with money with them. funny pastors slash fake pastors. Okay, um, there is this very scene that did not work well with me. Like, it was obviously staged. It was so obvious that I don't know whether they, like, those extras were not dramatic enough like for example the scene where um la Selene was running after somebody and uh, somebody was running after him so i can't remember but that scene it bumped into uh people that were selling um edibles i think it was fruit and it threw them off and these people were just like there was no reaction as to the fact that that was their means of livelihood that was their way of making money they did not pursue him they did not try to pack their their stuff they did not try to like act as if somebody has just ruined their business for the day how are they supposed to survive this is the only means 
they can't survive but somebody just trashed it the, the reaction was just like okay it's fine it's not what it happens eh eh like somebody is going to like take away my bit of revenue at that point i would not go crazy you know? oh. that's the much i had to say about the movie but on a scale of one to ten i'll rate the movie um a 5.5 as I feel it's average though so I you might have a different opinion because this is my own opinion nobody's paying me to nobody is dragging me nobody I'm not trying to I know they put in so much work so much money so I appreciate that and we thank you guys for at least trying and um, acting is not easy trust me i know for for someone who has tried it is not easy so i give you tons of guys but you can do better so drop your comments in this comment section if you have seen the movie let me know what you feel about it if you have not go check it out i think it's still very much in the cinema like this video uh, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe please please subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it and um you can follow me on socials at i am on scottos brown twitter instagram facebook snapchat TikTok, Clubhouse. at i am on scottos brown is the end see you again in another video brown tv make sure to have a lovely week and enjoy yourself you only need both so make sure you have fun while you're making it in this world peace